tremendous outpouring of love from the community. Friends and family gathered for the funeral of Father Lawrence Tracy this morning at St. Michael's Church in Rochester. Father Tracy was 78 years old. He died after battling ALS. Emily Noonan was at today's funeral. There will be a gigantic void in our community and a deep hole in our hearts. Hundreds of people packed into St. Michael's Church to remember Father Lawrence Tracy, a man who took his faith and activism into the homes of the Hispanic community. Jacenia Curley has known Father Tracy her whole life. Her grandmother, Belen Colon, was one of his greatest friends and spoke today at his funeral. I just remembered how kind he was and I never, you know, I was young when I was with him and, you know, kids are kids. And I'd be in his personal space or mess up his magazines or try to drink his seltzer water and he, I've, I don't have any memory of him having an attitude or, you know, angry or anything. Every memory I have of him is positive. Alicia Rodriguez met Father Tracy nine years ago in the emergency department at Rochester General, where she worked. He has a part of my heart. He was one of my first person that I met. Mm -hmm. So, and I seen this man coming to the hospital every single day visiting patients. Yes. When Rodriguez asked Father Tracy who he was, he said, I'm Puerto Rican, like you. It wasn't until she went to Mass that she realized Father Tracy was an ordinary man who did extraordinary things. He was loved. He will be missed. Will there be another one like him? I don't think so. Father Tracy was born and raised in this neighborhood, and many of the people we spoke to who live in this neighborhood say they wouldn't be who they are today without him. Not only is he a leader and a role model, but a true friend to the entire community. In Rochester, Emily Noonan, News 8. Thank you, Emily. Father Tracy spent many years at St. Michael's. He was even baptized here in 1940. He was one of the founding members of the Ibero-American Action League and helped create the bilingual education program we now see at the Rochester City School District.